Let me tell you my plan for becoming a famous football expert. What I'd do is go around all the Premiership football training grounds trying to get interviews with the managers. I only need to get lucky twice. Imagine I managed to secure interviews with the managers of Manchester United and Arsenal. I could then start footballexpert.com where you'd see me interviewing those managers. Of course I'd immediately look credible and like an expert because I would alongside two of the most famous football managers in the world. Meanwhile, would anybody come to the website to see me? Of course not. But if I placed those interviews and links to those interviews in the Arsenal Fans Forum, Manchester United Fans Forum and on various football websites, people would click on those links to see what those managers had to say. Because today you own media channels, you need to build an audience. But the point is that audience already exists. Whether it's chief executives, manufacturers, accountants, solicitors, recruitment agents, those people already hang out in various forums, online, in industry associations and other places. So what you have to ask yourself is who are the companies and the influencers in your sector that already have the eyeballs of the prospects you would like? Could you ask them to blog for you? Could you blog for them? Could you do a joint webinar or seminar? or video interview them. Anything that creates value for the audience and exposes them and yourself to those people. When you're launching a website or social media channel, building an audience is not easy. Leveraging the eyeballs that someone else already has is a shortcut to success.